Next, we're going to move into the genitals. And once again, this is going to um, you know, heavily talk about uh, penile sensitivity because, once again, there's a connection here between your genitals and your brain. We just talked about the brain portion. Here's the genital portion. That's why they're next to each other. So they connect in that way. So penile sensitivity. Also, of course, this is where your testicles are. So this is where most of your testosterone should be produced in this area, which is very important for your erections and your sex drive. Of course, not the only thing involved in erections or sex drive, but it's a really critical part of that, and that's right there in the genitals, as well as the prostate. The prostate's included in here as well. And if, you, um, if your prostate's not performing well, it's, it, if, it's have, if it's compromised, it's not healthy, then you know not only will that potentially lead to prostate, ca prostate cancer, but even in the initial stages of it, it's going to make erections more difficult. It's going to make them um, you know, more difficult to get and to maintain. So really, really important area of the uh, body-mind connection. And once again, like I talked before, this is a big part of our desires, just like the heart. A genital and the heart are intimately connected. And ideally, as men, we get these two connected. Um, one of the things, uh, uh, insights that I had heard one time, and I think makes a lot of sense, is that men tend to be more focused here and in their genitals. Women tend to be focused more here in their heart. Each one of us as, as genders would, be, would do well to connect those two. You know, men connecting more to their heart, women connecting more to their genitals. Okay, then we become more, uh, our desires become more fused between the two, what our heart and our sexual desires are. And it just becomes easier for us to express ourselves and uh, go after the things we really want in life. Um, let's see here. Yeah. So, and then it's connected. Its main thing it's connected to is pleasure, of course, right? Lots and lots and lots of pleasure coming out of the genitals. Uh, ideally, unless you have some uh, numbness, some penile numbness, and that can happen once again from a brain connection over here, but it can also happen from, um, you know, from uh, desensitization. For instance, like masturbating without lubrication can desensitize your penis. Uh, there's lots of different things that can desensitize it and lots of cool ways to resensitize it. Here, th this, this line, all the way up. Let's go a little bit. We don't need to see. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, all the way up here to the center. Okay, really, really important as a man. You can look at uh, how this all connects here. All the way from our pleasure, genitals to our heart. We talked about that desire, how it goes up into our freedom. You can see how the heart, genitals, and pleasure all connect in terms of freedom and pleasure. But that goes up into immersion, so we actually get lost we get into the flow state when these things are all connected, right? All flowing the way they should. So we're in the flow state, you know, we're, we're in our, um, we're feeling good about life. We're, you know, we're going after the things we want. And that goes all the way up to the top epigenetic signaler, the most important of them all, mission and passion, right? You can see how that's all connected here especially the freedom portion of it. You know, are we doing the things that we're really passionate about? Um, you know, do we have a mission in life? Or are we just sort of free floating through life? Or do we have a purpose, something that we want to accomplish, right? That all is all connected here through this single line. So I wanted to bring that to your attention in case you hadn't noticed that before on the impact point matrix. We'll get much more into the epigenetic signalers in, a, in another workshop. This one in particular, because it's so important. All right. But I wanted to kind of bring that out to you first. And also, just from talking about even what we talked about so far, I hope this becomes so crystal clear to you that why focusing on just one thing is just crazy. Because of how all of this works together. It's not like you have to focus on everything. But finding the parts that, um, you know, are not working so well for you and addressing those parts so that they do work together integratively. You know, like a, like a car all works together. You know, the transmission and the, the engine and the brakes and all that stuff has to work together for your car to work together. Same thing here. You can't just focus on one of those things. And 
also, maybe it's coming clear to you as well that this body-mind connection portion of the impact point matrix is really an ecosystem in and of itself. It's an ecosystem within an ecosystem. Okay, so, th you know, th I hope that kind of illustrates just how important, how interconnected all this is and how important it is that you don't just focus on one thing because that's the biggest mistake I see, guys, by far. And the way, reason they get so frustrated, and I, I even have guys contact me who have already gotten penile implant surgery. That's one of the few things where I can't help anymore, right? Because they've destroyed the penile chambers. When they put the, the um, artificial penis pump into your penis, they got to cut open your scrotum and then they damage the chambers as they put artificial chambers in so that you, you literally squeeze this third testicle and it inflates the penis. But at the same time, it, it, it's irreversible. So at that point, I can't help. So that's why it's so important to understand the ecosystem so you don't, if something doesn't work, you don't just freak out and start going down the urologist business model of getting on ED drugs, which damage your erection ecosystem even more, makes it even harder, it makes it more difficult to get natural erections. Those stop working, then you go to Trimix injections where you have to actually inject your penis it with a hypodermic needle, which is even more extreme drugs. They're very powerful and they damage your body even more, making it even more difficult to get an erection, a natural erection, which leads eventually, because they stop working eventually, and that eventually leads to the penile surgery. And when those guys contact me, it really breaks my heart because I, at, once those chambers are damaged, there's really not a whole lot I can do. Up until that point, yeah. We can turn it around. Even if you're on Trimix, we can turn it around. But the, once the surgery is done, it's done. It's irreversible. Okay. And then let's talk about these portions right around here. Okay. I call these the four effing factors. Okay. The four effing factors. And you can see here how they're connected. So let's start here with the blood vessels. If you would like help with your unique and personal situation from us, I put a link below that will explain all the different ways that we can help you get and maintain superior stage four rock solid hardness and lasting power both permanently and naturally at any age. Make sure you like and subscribe for more tips to attain elite level bedroom performance and I will see you in the next one.